You're watching This Old House, TOH10. Protect your home in a zombie invasion. Listen, we've seen the movies, TV shows, and books. A zombie world takeover is inevitable. But at This Old House, we've got the skills to turn your home into a fortress. Number 10, retrofit your house with stainless steel doors. Affordable and impenetrable to slack muscled type zombies, steel doors can be a living dead dude's worst enemy. Forget side lights and transoms, go for triple point locks instead. Zombies hate triple point locks. Number nine, walking dead proof your windows. It doesn't take more than a few broken windows to cause one buzz kill of a safety breach. Opt for tempered glass windows rated for hurricane zones and retrofitted with wrought iron security bars. Or, in a pinch, reinforce with plywood and cross your fingers. Number eight, get yourself an electric fence. They make good zombie neighbors, as George Romero showed us in Land of the Dead. If you can't afford one, consider building a tough, 12-foot tall chain link, wrought iron, or cinder block version. The local zoning board might take offense, but seriously, man, this is a zombie invasion. Who cares about zoning? Number seven, move upstairs and dismantle your staircase. Most zombies are pathetic climbers. Use a portable fire ladder or rope for temporary access. If you live in a one-story house, retreat to the attic and pull up the ladder. No attic? Wait out the invasion on the roof until the undead are returned to the Hellmouth from whence they came. Or rescue crews arrive. Number six, break out the chainsaw. Nothing beats its raw, killing power. But use with caution. Unless you have the upper body strength of the Hulk, one or two chainsaw beheadings will leave you with flailing gummy arms. Plus, a chainsaw's roar might alert other zombies that dinner is served. Number five, raid your toolbox. It can be a weapons gold mine, as Woody Harrelson taught us in Zombieland. A sharp set of hedge trimmers does the trick for lopping off heads, but best is a blunt tool with a long handle, such as an ax or tire iron, applied with force to the brain or eyes. And, of course, a shovel for whacking and then burying zombies once they're finally un undead. Number four, strengthen your siding. The pawing and scratching of cold, dead hands can wreak havoc on clapboard cake pods and colonial revivals. For the best defense, we recommend fiber cement siding, though we were hard pressed to find a manufacturer willing to guarantee its product against a zombie invasion. Number three, stock up on non-perishable food, bottled water, and first aid supplies, like Will Smith's character did in I Am Legend. You'll want to have at least a month's supply at hand. Fill all tubs and sinks with water. And consider planting a vegetable garden close to your back door, just in case food runs out. Number two, keep a low profile. It's tempting to stand by your window and contemplate the end of life as we know it, but all zombies will see is the human equivalent of a whopper with cheese. Draw the shades, add heavy curtains, blankets, or better yet, steel plates. And never ever let light seep through your windows at night. Number one, invest now in a gas fuel generator. Or better yet, a generator that can be operated manually by a stationary bike, since the local utility company's employees have probably already been eaten. And since the end of the world might give you a nervous stomach, you'll also want to have a makeshift toilet in case the water goes out too. Line the bowl with heavy duty garbage bags and pour in some cat litter or sawdust. When the coast is clear, bury the waste in your backyard. Oh. And by the way, most of these ideas, except the killing, will help you get through any disaster, man-made or natural. <laughs>